carne asada is to Hispanics what barbecue is to the United States. It is the perfect way to gather around friends and family and have a really good time. I've shown you plenty of recipes you can bring to this gathering, including Mexican rice, Mexican salsa, guacamole, refried beans. All of these recipes are gonna be linked down in the description area. But today, oh today, I wanna show you three brand new side dishes to impress a crowd. The first one's gonna be Mexican street corn. Last time I visited my hometown, we spotted a street vendor they had the charcoal going, we got to pick our own corn and do all of our favorite toppings. The process is very simple and you can have as many corn on the cobs as you like. We're only doing four, it is plenty for us. Let's peel the husk and remove as much silk as you can. I'm not gonna rinse these because they look pretty clean to me, but if you'd like to, you can. Nelson, do you remember last time we went to Mexico, we actually had corn on the cob cooked over some charcoal? from my grandfather's milpa, which is his, what do you call it? Like cornfield. his cornfield? Yes. So if you wanna watch the video, I'm gonna link it down below. It is so good. Oh yes, the grill is fired up from making carne asada. So let's grill that corn. Just turn them as needed. That way you get a nice char all around and they cook. And by the way, you may hear the occasional pop when those kernels are cooking. I love what's happening right here because apart from it charring, it's also getting a nice golden brown color all around. All right, everybody gets to make their own, just have all of the toppings laid out and ready to go. I'm gonna put these together for you. Start by spreading a generous amount of Mexican crema, or you could even do mayo. Spread it all around. This is kind of like our glue. Everything's gonna stick to it sprinkle cotija cheese or you could even do crumbled queso fresco dust ground guajillo or feel free to use tajin now comes your favorite hot sauce and valentina is our go-to we've been using it for years ever since i was a little girl enjoying my life in the streets of mexico and i'm just going to continue making the rest do a couple of finishing touches at the end these are all done and i left a couple of them just like this because to be honest some people just prefer them this way. I personally go for this right here. Nelson, on the other hand, likes them this way. Sprinkle a touch of lime juice all around. Finally, chop cilantro and salt if desired. There's never a right or wrong time to eat corn on a cob. Oh my goodness. Have it as an appetizer, dessert, snack, you name it. I've been to many carne asadas throughout the years and a good potato salad always pops up. Let me show you my very best version of a Mexican style potato salad. The potatoes are cooked and cooled. Let me run you through the process. We need two pounds of Yukon potatoes and just take them over to the sink and give them a quick rinse. Then dice them into small pieces. Feel free to peel them, but I'm gonna keep that skin on for that fiber content. Transfer them over into a pot then cover them completely with water until the water line is about one inch over the potatoes. Now bring them to a boil. At the same time, start the hard boiled eggs. Place four eggs into a saucepan, cover them completely with water and also bring them to a boil. Now lower the heat and allow both of them to reach a gentle simmer and sprinkle a generous amount of salt over those potatoes. Allow them to cook for about 12 to 15 minutes until they are cooked but not mushy. As soon as those eggs are fully cooked, transfer them into an ice water bath to stop the cooking process. As far as the potatoes, these are looking amazing, nice and firm, but very tender. Drain all of the water, then transfer them onto a rack. That way they cool down completely. And here we are ready to put this bad boy together. Transfer about a cup of those cooked and cooled potatoes into a large bowl. Now using a potato masher, mash them down. Add in three quarters of a cup of mayonnaise and you can use your preferred kind. I'm using avocado oil based. Now half a cup of Mexican crema, which is on the sweeter side. It's really gonna balance out all of the flavors. One tablespoon of lemon juice, two tablespoons of mustard, 
and this is yellow mustard. A third of a cup of finely diced pickles. One cup of cotija cheese. This is more on the salty side, so it's really gonna add that touch of flavor. Half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Salt to taste. And some freshly ground black pepper. Mix that in, get everything nicely incorporated. Add one small onion diced. Four celery stalks also diced. A quarter of a bunch of cilantro finely chopped. Give that a quick mix. Finally, all of the potatoes go in. And the hard boiled eggs, which I peeled and diced. Mix until everything is well coated. The best part is you can make this a day ahead, place it in the fridge, and then just pull it out to get that party started. Our third side dish is gonna be some delicious beans. Without a doubt, I think beans are the best parts because they represent every level of Mexican society. And I wanna show you the best way to spice them up for your carne asada. Place a medium saucepan over medium heat and heat a couple of tablespoons of avocado oil. Then brown eight ounces of ham. I'll be using turkey. All right, this is looking great. Just remove that turkey and add in half of a diced white onion. Feel free to add a little bit more oil if needed. To this also add one jalapeño de-seeded and diced. Once this has slightly softened, add in three minced garlic cloves and saute it for about one minute. Now add in one teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of dry Mexican oregano, half a teaspoon of ground cumin, and one diced vine ripe tomato. Those tomatoes have slightly softened. Pour in four cups of cooked pinto beans. In my case, I'll be using peruano beans. And one cup of the broth the beans were cooked in. You can also do low sodium, chicken broth. Finally, half of a bunch of chopped cilantro. And let's add that turkey back into the pot. I'm actually gonna do an additional half a cup of that bean broth. Lower the heat and let them reach a gentle simmer and cook them for about five minutes. If you want them thicker, you can always let them reduce a bit more, but I want, I need that flavored broth. Look at that. Finally, add salt to taste. Beans are ready. Yay. Potato salad is ready. You made it? I made it really good. <laughs> Let's taste. The be I want to taste the beans first. Just because they're nice and warm and... You gotta do this. We've been a little down. extra. Come on, Nelson. Come on. All right, let's taste this. It's warm, hot. Mm. Wow. Oh my goodness. This is so hearty. So delicious. I even imagine myself eating this for breakfast with eggs. Ooh. Right? Doesn't it taste a little like if it had chicken broth? Mm. And I didn't add any. It's just so much flavor. Comfort it's food so at its best. You know what? I want to taste that salad. Mm. Mm -hmm. That salad. Ugh. You can make it so many ways. This has to be mm. my top favorite way of making it. But what's your favorite part of a carne asada, Nelson? So we made some. We're gonna take all of this, put it in a beautiful plate, and we're gonna surely enjoy this. So I really hope that you can follow us on all of our social media platforms, like this video. Check out the full printable recipe on villacocina.com, and we're off to do some eating. Until the next one. Keep cooking, everybody. Right? Bring out the plates. <laughs> you beat me to it.